Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Andy's Toolbox. In this episode, this is a follow-up to my uh, lantern uh, repair video of how to fix a cheap uh, Walmart lantern that leaks, but it's new. I'm making this video because I've had uh, several comments uh, and requests that there needs to be a follow-up video um, to that one. So I'm making this uh, for demand uh, of the video. This is the lantern that um, I repaired. And uh, I haven't used this lantern for a while. Um, I filled it up uh, a while back uh, and used it once and uh, it didn't appear to be leaking but this has been sitting uh, for a while and as you can see on the inside of the lantern uh, is if you can see in there is the red uh, gas tank sealer that I put in there uh, so what I'm going to do for you guys, since uh, people wanted to know um, if the, uh, I think I spilled a little kerosene when this, uh, when I opened the uh, kerosene jug. Let me get this nice and dry so I can pour some kerosene in there and uh, see if there is any leaks. Now, I'm only making this video because it was requested I'm pretty sure that there's not going to be a leak considering that this is uh, the sealer is for gas tanks and uh, gas is quite uh, uh, volatile. So I'm pretty sure this held up. Let me uh, let me fill it up and uh, we can uh, see on this uh, black, um worktop if there is any leaks so let's uh let me uh set you up here let me see if i can get this going. there we go let me set you up here you can watch me pour Watch how much I pour and see if you're satisfied with the results. That is, uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can see in there. Yeah, that's enough to have coated the entire bottom of the uh, lantern. Let me wipe up this little bit of spill right here, and we'll see if there is any leaks around the lantern after sitting a little while. That was just that one spill from pouring. Let me get the rest of this up from the funnel and uh, we'll see if there's any any leaks on this black uh, on this black work worktop here i'm gonna let that sit for uh you guys can watch if you want to wait uh i can uh maybe in my video editor uh speed up the time here but i will wait I don't know, a couple minutes, and that should uh, reveal any slow leaks in the, uh, in the uh, lantern. So here we'll, here we'll wait, and I will stop talking. The clock right now says, let's see here, one sixteen. So I'll wait until one seventeen, uh, and then we will, Check the bottom and the rim to see if any of that has leaked 
and that should satisfy the request for an update for the lantern repair and if the product I used the gas tank sealer will seal after a long period now it's been a while since I made that video and that's the same uh, product in the lantern so this is the same lantern that's the same product and uh, that should satisfy the request for an updated video I don't use my I haven't been using my lantern very much because I've had gasoline around my shop a lot and I've been working on uh, a lot of um, uh, I've been working on a lot of uh, of uh, projects you know my my uh, bike and my car and I've had gasoline just haphazardly around the shop so for a while you know and so I haven't been using lanterns in the shop but all that has been done so I might just bust this guy out you know it's the end of kind of winter maybe I'll bust them out I I, I usually use these because I, I just like the way that they smell and it you know gives you a little light you know um, where there otherwise wouldn't be and I just love the smell of the burning kerosene it just smells so so uh, you know it good and the neighbors love it and uh, it just it's a nice thing you know to be neighborly and uh, and uh, just in, to enjoy yourself so um, let's see here we have about uh, 15 seconds and then I will lift the lantern let me see if I can get you over here and you can see for yourself if it worked or didn't and there should be any uh, leakage that shows so and there you have it perfectly dry and uh, I can feel around the bottom of the lantern and smell it and it doesn't smell like anything at all I'm smelling it it smells really clean and dry so if that satisfies you there could be a slow leak I wouldn't know but as it was before uh, it was uh, it, you could smell it almost immediately coming out and if you let the lantern sit uh, it would leave a puddle uh, over time it was a slow leak but I'm smelling it and uh, I'm not I'm not feeling any moisture and there is absolutely no sign of moisture uh, after the repair so I hope that satisfies the request uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Andy's toolbox um, Take care, guys.